A uh, small video trying to describe what a histogram does for your Phantom 4 Pro and how it can help you take um, good pictures and good video. I have mine set up facing at the door as you can see. I have the histogram pulled up and I have the camera on manual with an ISO of 800, shutter speed at 600 with an f4.5. And to get to these settings, I have mine set up so that the C2 button brings up the camera settings. And on your camera settings, you can go to your manual mode. I have mine set up manual. And I go over here, you can turn the histogram on and off with that little slider. I keep mine on. So when you're outside shooting, select an ISO that's appropriate for where you're at. I usually start at ISO 100 because you get your best quality images. And you see the 800's now highlighted and you can get it back up there. You can scroll the wheel to set different ISOs. Since I'm inside the house, the ISO 800 works fine. Set your shutter speed. I usually leave mine at 60 since I film at uh, 30 frames per second. That's where you usually want to keep it uh, for the best cinematic blur. And then you can change your f-stop. F4.5 is where I have now with a nice even distribution as you move it to f8 um, and higher. And by the way, your Phantom 4 Pro goes in one-third step um, f-stop increments, one-third stop increments. You can notice the histogram, how it has moved to the left, indicating that your screen is more dark and it sees more dark images. You can move it the other way. Press your wheel until your f-stop is highlighted. Move the wheel. You can see the histogram move to the right. And of course, you see it get brighter. When we go the opposite way, 2.8, you see how bright everything is and the histogram is over towards the right. If I were to change the ISO to say 1600, we get the opposite effect. You can see everything's overexposed and we need to use a higher f-stop to bring everything back into a normal distribution. You see the f-stop going to 5.6 and 6.3 and it settles between 7.1 and 6.3. There you go. You get a nice even distribution on your histogram, not too much white, not too much dark. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you can set your manual exposure, set your manual white balance, and adjust your f-stop, you have one thing to adjust in flight so you get a nice even distribution. Go and fly and you won't get that annoying change as the light changes. Now in between shots, you can reevaluate by simply clicking the wheel till your f-stop turns blue and then adjust the wheel to get a nice distribution. Go and take the next shot. Easy.